Ow. Hello everybody and welcome back to Necropolis. My name is Dinosaur, but you can call me Dino. Today we're going to be starting with a brand new Brutish run. Going to be doing our second Brood run today, starting straight on from the beginning. Here we are, start of the run. You can see that we are the Brute. You may recognize these colors, you may not. They do look a little bit different, but these are our classic, very, very efficient, very lucky purple colors back from when we played the Black Guard, the regular character. The ones that brought us the furthest, I just remembered because the animation showed me that uh, I can destroy the urns as the brute by walking into them instead of hitting the stuff with the swords. So uh, it made it a lot awkward when I uh, hit it before hitting it with the swords and they broke because I hit it with the animation before the sword hit them. And I just sort of walked into them and they broke. But, I, you know, I tried anyways and that's the important part. Ooh, a free iron ration. I will never say no to a free iron ration. Let's interact with our friend here. You are illiterate. What a surprise. Aw, that's so nice of you. Uh, too bad for you that I am also, uh, well, literate. I'm going to go left or right. All right, I was trying to go for a joke there. You can obviously tell that that didn't work. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, nice big open room to start with. Uh, very, very large. There's also two directions. This is actually probably one of the largest rooms I've started in so far. Um, a lot of skeletons, not a problem. Skeletons are easy. Easy, easy foes. It's just gonna kill them. One slash at a time. One slipe, one swipe, one blipe, one cripe, one flipe, tripe, snipe at a time. I would snipe them if I had some sort of ranged weapon, which I currently do not. Though, to be fair, even if I did have a ranged weapon, I would probably prefer to use the sword because I like swords in this game and the ranged weapons. Well, well, good, well efficient, well often keeping you alive as opposed to the... Uh, Melee weapons, which will get you hurt very badly by fighting people at a close range where they can hit you. Um, I just find the swords a lot more fun. Uh, I can hear stuff like fighting, like right on the other side of this wall. It's really entertaining. I don't think there's any way over there from here. But there is another direction to go, and that is over this hallway over here. This big sort of, uh, uh, I, I, sort of trapezoidal, I guess. It's like, it's like a really, really vertically stretched trapezoid. Um... I don't like that there's a hole there. I mean, I should be able to cross that. Yeah, there we go. That was a little closer than I would have liked it to be, but we still crossed it. I mean, is there any other way through here? I don't think so. I Like, I think that's the only way out. Speaking of out, this almost looks like we're going outside. It's a very large room. Uh, they're just fighting. Um, I guess we can... Ex oh, no, they're done fighting. I was going to say, I guess we can explore the rest of the room while they fight. But they are uh, have brought their fighting to me. And if they're gonna bring the fight to me, then I might as well bring the fight back. Ensure my safety and their non-safety, their death even. Um, doors and shields and a rat. Ow. That's rude, dude. Dude, that's rude. How dare you. Um, that's a nice damage going on right there. Um, sorry rat, you have torn flesh. I could use your torn flesh. And this iron ration. That's the second iron ration the game has given me so far. I'm quite happy about that. As a large fan of iron rations, both in uh, my personal liking of iron rations and in my character's physical size. Aha, large, large fan. If I was actually like in the shape of a fan, that joke would have been about ten times funnier. And yep, just as I thought, having looked at it, um, there it goes. Okay, it was going down from the top. I looked at it, I was just like, huh, that's a weird shape. So I walked into it, and I could start, like, I could, I could hear movement. I could hear like the wall moving. But at the same time, I couldn't actually see it start moving because it was coming down from a vertical area. I was just like, the, the first thing that I noticed was the sound. I was like, huh, that's weird. It doesn't actually move. And then I looked at the wall again and I noticed the text wasn't there. So it was sort of very confusing for the couple moments it took me to realize that it was moving vertically down as opposed to, like, just back. Like, most of the secret walls will just move back, in my experience. Or up. I think I've seen one that goes up. Uh, I don't want to kill you. There's a skull chest there and a couple of crafting material boxes. I'm very happy about this room then. Good to, good find. Good find. Um, so I suppose those both could have been uh, chests then. As they're in the chest spawn pool. Unless that changed. Because those sort of don't look like chest locations. That looks like it's meant for those. But this is more than worth it for the skull chest. Giving me Bofus Cutter. My favorite little curved blade. That almost looks like it's curved enough that I'm about to just stab myself in the shoulder when I run with it. Look at that, that's, that's very dangerous. It's extremely dangerous. Um, just a nice little fiery torch over there. Friendly empty spider there. A couple of friendly empty spiders. Just let them go on their way. 
We have no interest in harming them. We have no need to harm them, and there is no reason for them to die. We can let them live on this day, another empty spider over here, in the hopes that they will reappear with loot later, and then we can hurt them. Then we can show them what real pain is. And for the most part, real pain is as simple as just me hitting them once with a sword. Then they uh, break into multiple parts and give me their loot, which is awfully nice of them when you think about it. I mean, they, they didn't have to give me their loot. They didn't even have to break apart with one hit. I mean, it's not like I'm hitting them with a bludgeoning weapon. I'm, I'm trying to cut them with a sword. And they're made of metal. You, you'd think that they would have some sort of defense against a sword, being that they are made of metal. Like, they should not be one-hittable. But, as is the, uh, the way that the game wants it to work, they are. Okay, let me uh, just do a little check here. Yep, that's what I thought. This is a nice floor setup right here, this next corner. You can sort of see the chest through the window when I jumped. I did that because I recognized this this room. This room usually has it outside of that window, which is why I checked. Because that means that there's another room that connects through window scaffolding stuff that we've seen before. And these guys just like to hit my shield. Just gonna let them do that. I mean, I don't mind if they hit the shield. I'm not okay with, uh... I'm not okay with them not hitting the shield. Like, I'm not okay if they just didn't attack me. I'm not a fan of when enemies don't attack me. It really freaks me out. I mean, that's probably just because I've spent a lot of time in here, a lot of time down, just running through this very dark, very maniacally evil, very hostile area against very dark, maniacally evil, hostile enemies who, like, every time I see them, they just want to hurt me. They want me dead for the most part. Uh, the spider, that's, the, that's an outside area. We could probably get there somewhere else. Um, we want to go outside the room that'll be on the other side of that wall, which will be through that door. Nice. And then, if this is the exact layout that I'm looking at, hold on, let me check the vent that should be over there. Okay, no fog. Had to check, there's a lot of fog around, it might have gone unnoticed. Uh, on the other side of that door might be the end of the floor. On the other side of this door will be another room that has a door in it. On the other side of the door that is in here will be the windows that we are after. That will bring us to the scaffolding where we saw that chest. As you can see, it's a very long journey of remembering rooms that go to rooms that go to room that go to a few other rooms, really. There's a, there's a lot of rooms in this game. And if you can remember what all the rooms are, where they are, how they work, how they are in relation to other things that tend to spawn with them, it makes your journey a lot easier. Though, the game rarely does this. Like, I think this is... Oh, shit, I fell off. That, uh... Uh, that, that was anticlimactic. Um, the game really does repeat this... Well, repeat rooms in general. This one, this little, little trick, I've seen three times that I found it. I don't remember if I've seen it any time before I uh, found the scaffolding. I don't think I have, but if I had, I feel like I would have I, uh, I would have uh, not remembered it then. Because it, it wasn't important to me then. There, there was no reason for me to put any importance on it before I found that secret. Because otherwise it's just a set of rooms. There's always sets of rooms, there's always hallways. Stuff sometimes repeats. And most of them is just like, it's normal, you know, it happens once in a while. But that one, that one's really nice to see. Because there's a few hints that are dropped by the game that tell me where that is, when that's going to happen. And that was one of them. It's very nice. Oh, okay, not the end of the floor. They. Oh, no, yeah, I remember. Wrapping around here should be the end of the floor. I mean, I could be completely wrong, and I'm just completely saying that, uh, oh, yeah, around the next corner is the end of the floor at every corner. And if I do that, then technically, eventually, I'll be right. And more than likely, you'll remember the one time where I was right about me going around the corner and finding the end, then the ten times that I was wrong. You'll be like, damn, that's impressive. This guy knows the layout of the floor before he's even played the floor in a randomly generated game. Rather than, damn, this guy sure likes to talk about uh, non-existent endings, right? I mean, I do like to talk about non-existent endings. It is one of my favorite pastimes. But uh, I'm just trying to go off prior knowledge. I, I'm, I'm talking about this stuff like I'm fully aware of where the endings are. But for the most part, that's just me trying to test myself, trying to see what I remember, because I want to know what I remembered, I want to know what I can remember, I want to know what actually is, because it helps me in the future. Because if I, if, I, if I am right, then um, I know that I will likely be right in the future. Because this game is a lot of patterns. The, 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 the floors, the floors, and the rooms are a lot of patterns based off of some sort of database that they have hidden within the game, probably not, like, particularly hidden. It's just, like, I haven't found it because I'm not particularly looking. I, I like playing the game. I like to learn about the game by playing the game, not by uh, going through all of the data files and figuring out the stuff that they uh, didn't want me to see. 
Because if they didn't want me to see it, then I don't want to see it either, because, like, I want to find it the way they intended. Because that's the most entertaining way to do so for me. Um, you're dead. You're all dead. There was a lot of people. They're all dead. I'm going to eat an iron ration. Heal up. I know it's a ways of an iron ration because we weren't really losing any stamina, but I wanted, I wanted my health back. Uh, there's a lot of weapons here. A few gems that we missed, apparently, but we got them. That's the important part. The important part is that we got them before we left. A uh, little bit of scaffolding, that doesn't lead to anything. A little bit of floating rocks, that definitely doesn't lead to anything, but it's sort of creepy. Um, Hordeman, a, tr a bunch of traps around this crafting material chest, and a bunch of dead bodies from people that appear to have died to these spikes. I'm not sure how they managed. I mean, I guess all these people just really wanted the that crafting material chest. Just, uh... Trying to cautiously grab these gems without being spiked, though I have already been hit once. I definitely don't want to be hit a second time, as that's way too many for a trap that I'm fully aware of, and don't really intend to die to, by any means. Um, there's the next floor. Alright, so that's pretty much, like, right below us. I, it's, we're not far from the end of the floor. We are very much not far from the end of the floor. Um, that's, actually looks like it might be the end of the floor in front of us. As soon as the, the door, like, loaded into the, the world, I could pretty much tell that that was the end of the floor. Like, I saw the lights at the end of the hallway, and I was like, oh, that might be it. That might do it. And then I looked, I uh, walked one step forward, saw the door, and I was like, yeah, that's, that's probably the end of the floor, actually. I mean, it's a very, that is, like, the one thing that is not completely randomly generated in this game. Well, not really randomly generated at all. It's, it's very, very standard. It's the one thing that you'll see at the end of every floor that I've seen, at least. I mean, I say that, but I might be wrong, because we did get to level 9 once, and on level 9, the start was different than every floor other than level 1, which is always a unique thing. But every floor from level 1 onwards, like level 2 to level 8, were all the same beginning with the pyramid head and the room, and then you got to open the door, there's a chest that you can open. But level 9 started very differently. There was a chest that I could open. No, there wasn't a chest. There was there was a door in front of me, but there was also a way to go that didn't have the door, and that was the way that we went. And part of me is significantly worried that if we'd gone through that door, we would have, like, gone against some sort of, like, final boss, and it would have been the end of the game, and I would have had my first complete run, and I would have been really happy. But instead, I went decided to go sideways. I decided to explore, and it was sort of sad. Um, this guy doesn't have anything of value to me currently, especially because he doesn't have colors. Alright, and here's our artwork for the floor, something we've seen before many times. It's one of the things that I'm starting to notice a lot of is seeing the same artwork. I, I feel like, uh, th I wish there was more artwork in the game. I wish there was more options of artwork so we, that we could find more stuff, possibly more clues to deciphering more important artwork like the map. I want clues to the map. I want, I want clues to the map. I really just want, like... A detailed explanation of the map in like a different for form of artwork just so I can happily know what the map actually means rather than just seeing all these names that I don't understand all that stuff I'm gonna open this because like I got one token from the last floor and I was gonna I was gonna open it anyways if we're completely honest uh, replace our basic shield with this crossbow it's tier 2 that is not bad we might use this we might not we're probably not going to there is an armor vendor on the right that you thought I was going to miss and you also noticed that I didn't get the busting of the gods I'm gonna grab that and I'll see you in a second cuz this guy has nothing of interest to me currently and now we're about to get this blessing of the gods that we totally didn't forget in the first place that we were always going to grab. There was no doubt about it in any way, shape, or form. We were always getting that. There was no forgetful nature. I always get that every time. No worries about it. If I can afford it, I will get it every time. Open sesame, said the large purple man to the bullhead on the door that just disintegrates itself into multiple pieces. In a very cool manner, to be fair. But, uh, okay. Very open. Lots of options. First thing I noticed was this chest over here. Very nice to have a chest to open a floor. It just seemed to like me. It's an unknown potion. You know what we do with those? We have to eat it. Drink drink it. It's a potion. If we ate it, we'd probably end up with shards of glass in our mouth. We would have to go to the Necropolis Hospital, ignoring all of our enemies, and uh, just knowing for a fact that we were going to have some issues. Uh, ow. Oh, I'm just regenerating my health right now. Pretty insanely. So I can just, like, fight these guys as much as I want to. Because their attacks don't actually hurt me. Okay, now they do. Now we need to be a little bit more careful. Ah, oh, now we're good. We're good. Uh, red... No! I didn't notice it was a red pyramid spider until it was too late. And now it's... Now it's gone. Dire she blows, as some would say. Uh, here's a chest. Oh, hello, Mr. Peacock Man. How you doing? You got your bag full of goodies. The goodies that I like, I'm going to get your iron rations, and I'm going to get the uh, arcane food. I have to do it in that order, because if I don't do it in that order, it'll bug me. Because I was so used to seeing it like this forever, and then you had to get the, the recipe for the iron ration, as opposed to spawning with it. 
And that sort of, oh, I, I do want uh, this. Cool thing you can, oh, wait, no, I, I want that instead of my normal shield because I got the crossbow. Uh, cool thing you can do with this, if I can get this guy to stop for a second, I'll show you. Um, the uh, strong attack with a shield, with a tower shield, is that. Uh, did that red guy just not drop any loot? Did I not kill, did I need to kill him in a different way or something? Uh, you need to kill just straight up because you're going to kill me. Well, you're not going to kill me, you're going to do some damage to me. If there was like five or six of you, you'd probably kill me. And yeah, well, there was very little reason for me to do that because I had pretty much full health and stamina. I wanted to do it because the chances of me coming back here later are not high. I, I don't do that that type of efficiency very well. That dude's going to try and blow me up. That dude's empty, but this one's not. And this guy is a spider who is now dead. Um, spider, so that's, that's, that feels good. Even if that was inefficient, because I think they were dying to one swipe anyways. Okay, it was a it was a broken clock right night, not a gem eater. My guessing skills were wrong. I apologize. I will commit that sound to memory for the next time I hear it, so that I know that it is not a gem eater and it is a broken clockwork night. And that way, I will never fail you again. And my um ah uh, length of fears that help me survive in my day-to-day -day life. I'm just saying words now because I think they'll work in, a, in some way like it keeps me calm to talk while I fight because it helps me like not think about the fact that I could die at any moment and that these guys are all just trying to kill me really none of them actually care about my well-being forgot this gem back here I thought I forgot something back here I'm glad that I remember that that would have bugged me if I saw that later and uh, knew that I just missed out on a single gem I mean it, it, it's not that big of a deal in the long run but it would have it still would have bugged me I uh, just tried to dodge the way that I uh, don't like doing. Uh, you can jump on this guy that actually moves you pretty far. Does it cancel an attack to jump? No, it doesn't. Okay, so you just have to time your attacks correctly. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. That guy's not. That guy's dead. Uh, now we got to kill a big purple narwhal whaler, if I remember correctly. Your name is the narwhal whaler. Yeah, narwhal whaler bucker. Narwhal. Narwhal. I called him a narwhal. Unfortunately, he was not some sort of uh, whalish creature with a horn, though that would make me very happy to see an enemy base off of that in the crop list. That guy dropped a potion and some gems. Uh, I'm quite happy to drink that. I mean, ooh, and a scroll. Wow, you you uh, you dropped some things. And it was a scroll of identification. We can see what the potion is. We can see how it might be useful to us, uh, or not useful to us at all, as that, ladies and gentlemen is a paralyzation potion right there. Belfinor Caesar Smoothie. There's nothing like a rest, especially when it means that your limbs seize up, paralyzing you as much as you alive. Uh, I dropped it, but basically that was paralyzing potion. Uh, the only reason that I would drink that is if I wanted to uh, not move for a while. Have a nice rest, as it uh, implied. Um, there was a way to go right back there, but there's also this way. I don't really know which way to go. I'm just sort of going because I feel like going. Uh, this is probably the right way, I guess. I, I just want to, I just want to follow my gut on, on everything, really. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. You can tell, because, uh, that's the next floor. Looks like that's where we start the next floor. Oh, wow, that's big. This is a big floor, and that's also a fairly big floor. Uh, we're gonna go on that way. I'll see you a little down the road. Ooh, Red Pyramid Spider, come here, buddy. Thank you. Good damage. Ah, oh, they're fighting each other. That's fine. Um, big room, big room, a lot of options, a lot of things happening. Hordemen that want to kill me, shields that want to kill Hordemen. Um, so I guess we work together to thin out the Hordemen a bit. And, uh, oh, um, is there anything in here? Ooh, a chest. I mean, if they're going to fight anyways, like, there's nothing to stop us from just taking a nice look in our friendly old chest with a nice, that sure is a magic scroll inside. Um, yeah, we should fight them. We should get their loot. They're very important at this stage in the game. The faster that we can get the blessing of the gods too, the better, the better that we'll be because of it, and the stronger that we will be as a brutish type of person. And uh, okay, now they're focused on me. Wow, and they're a little synced up. Okay, that guy was just one hit left. That guy will be a few because he was not taking as many blows, but he still died fairly easily. We got a decent amount of damage from that. I'm pretty happy and uh, gonna keep moving on in this wonderful uh, large but also not so large floor. Ugh. Oh, that's a lot of things. Hordemen, skeletons, skeletons, hordemen, horde skeletons, men. Um, there's a lot of things happening, and I am dealing with them fairly decently. I mean, nothing particularly impressive. I'll, I'll be honest right there. 
That was nothing particularly impressive, but it still happened. It happened, and it happened to happen. It happened to happen. It happened. All right, here we are at the end of the floor. It didn't miss a whole lot. Just a couple of little enemies. Didn't drop much. It was sort of very depressing. Well, not that depressing. I mean, they dropped some gems. I like gems. I'm a fan of gems. Gems get me places, and places get me thing places gems. All right, everybody, you didn't miss too much. I didn't have enough gems to get the next blessing of the gods. Uh, the artwork was actually the exact same one as the last floor. Sort of funny on that one. Here we can see the next floor, which you will see next time. This has been Necropolis. I've been Dinosaur. You can call me Dino. This has been the Groot. Groot, once again, not the Groot. We are not a tree that dances in a living manner and extends itself to fight its enemies. We are the Brute. Like if you liked the video, because if you like it, you might as well like it, subscribe for more videos of the Necropolis series, of the Rocket League stuff that I'm currently making, that I quite enjoy making, of Overwatch stuff, of everything that I do, and thank you for watching. Yeah.